Best part of my day is when I'm at Dunkin'. You think that's sad? Yes, very. The first Dunkin' Donuts opened its doors in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1950. Today, the chain boasts more than 10,000 stores in the United States and has become an iconic brand. Dunkin' Donuts sells more than 4.5 million cups of coffee every day. As the name suggests, donuts have been the delicious component to their famous coffee. They offer a donut for everyone, including mini donut holes called munchkins. Unfortunately, the donut with the handle made for easy dunking was discontinued. Even if you don't run on Dunkin', let's look at the top 10 untold truths of Dunkin' Donuts. Coffee and donuts! Dunkin' Donuts versus Mr. Donut. Mr. Donut is a restaurant franchise that started in the United States in 1956. Although its headquarters are located in Japan, it had a well-publicized rivalry with Dunkin' Donuts. This was a family squabble that started when the brother-in-law of the founder of Dunkin' Donuts decided to go his own way and become a competitor. The result was a chain of stores called Mr. Donut that began to sell a selection of coffee and donuts in direct competition with Dunkin'. The chain did well in America, but became a true sensation in Japan, where it is the top donut chain. The rights to all Mr. Donut stores in Asia were bought by a Japanese company in 1983. Mr. Donut has been a big success in Japan ever since, where they sell products similar to Dunkin's, such as their own take on donut holes. Critics could argue that Mr. Donut has simply copied what Dunkin' already did, but this hasn't stopped it from being a success. In 1990, the former parent company of Dunkin' Donuts bought both chains, and since then, Mr. Donuts have all but disappeared in the U.S. A lone Mr. Donut store still operates in Illinois, but the long-standing donut rivalry is long gone. People's love of the taste Tasty pastries means that both chains should enjoy bright futures. Here's to our bright future together. Help make our future bright. Click that subscribe button and tap that bell to join our notification squad. You should join our club. The best sellers at Dunkin' Donuts. Bright donuts. You've changed all these people for the better. Now work your magic on me. A segment of Dunkin' Donut customers have complained for years that the quality of the chain's donuts has dropped since they expanded the menu with items like sandwiches and smoothies. But there are plenty of donut lovers who still crave a warm donut from Dunkin'. The chain offers a decent variety of flavors and a number of seasonal choices that usually sell well, but generally customers are loyal to their particular favorites. These popular go-to flavors include Boston cream, powdered sugar, classic yeast glazed, and sour cream. Some of the crullers are also popular, including the French cruller. All of these flavors are good choices, and most donut lovers would happily munch on any one of them, or most likely all of them. But there can only be one top donut, and not surprisingly, it is the classic chocolate glazed donut we all know and love. What's not to like? Even though it seems to be a little smaller than it used to be and isn't slathered with as much sugary glaze, it is still delicious, and it still deserves to be Dunkin' Donuts' best-selling donut. If you haven't had one of Dunkin's chocolate glazed donuts, you've been missing out on a truly tasty treat. Just us and our tasty treats. Building on a name. Say my name. William Rosenberg was running a successful restaurant called Open Kettle, but he decided it needed a name change so he could make the most of his establishment's popular donuts and coffee. Rosenberg presented this challenge to his executives. Rosenberg explained that he needed them to come up with something memorable that would draw more attention to his popular pastries. This was not an easy assignment, but the story goes that they brainstormed ideas around a conference table until Rosenberg's architect eventually came up with an idea. The architect's idea was the now internationally recognized Dunkin' Donuts name that is so familiar today. The name change was made in 1950, and the company now considers this to be the official beginning of the franchise, even though Rosenberg's restaurant had been operating since 1948. Dunkin' Donuts has built a brand synonymous with fresh coffee and delicious donuts. The company has expanded its menu considerably and gone through many other changes over more than half a century of doing business. But it all started with a name change. Al Pacino! It's not Al anymore! It's Dunk! Dunkachino? Dunkin' Donuts Tiny Treats. Donuts. When they hear the word munchkin, big fans of Hollywood's classic movie The Wizard of Oz might think of the charming little characters who helped Dorothy on her way down the yellow brick road. But big fans of donuts think of something else. The standard size donuts loom large at Dunkin' and always will, but the tiny balls of deliciousness known as munchkins hold a special place with Dunkin' customers. Since the donut chain started selling the tiny treats in 1972, they've been a big hit with adults and especially children. When donuts were still made by hand, the middles were cut out and put aside, and this extra dough is used to make the donut holes. Today, modern machinery forms donuts with holes from the start, so the munchkins must be formed from separate dough. The tiny treats 
come in a variety of flavors, including chocolate glazed, jelly filled, glazed, and blueberry. Some customers want to buy an entire order of a single flavor, often chocolate glazed, but Duncan prefers to sell a mix of flavors to each customer. The chain also gave up on the practice of selling customers just a single munchkin. Let's face it, who can eat just one little donut hole anyway? If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? Ready for this jelly? Are Dunkin' Donuts jelly donuts a favorite or a flop? Tell them they suck! This is a question that needs to be asked. Some people must be buying them because Dunkin' continues to make them, but this fruit-filled variety seems to get a bad rap. A fresh jelly donut is warm and gooey, just like all the other flavors. However, it seems like they're often the last ones left in the box in the break room. The problem is there are so many other good choices to reach for before reaching for a jelly donut. This list includes several glazed and cream-filled varieties that continue to be customer favorites. Then there's the issue of the sugary sweet jelly filling itself. Is it strawberry? or raspberry. Let's not even get started on apple and blueberry filled donuts. Is the jelly going to be distributed evenly throughout the pastry or is it just oozing out the side? Is the donut covered with glaze or powdered sugar? There's always a chance that you'll be unlucky enough to get a jelly donut without any jelly in it at all. Jelly donuts have been around a long time and love them or hate them, they're likely going to continue to be included in a box of Dunkin' Donuts. Are you allowed to eat jelly donuts, Private Pius? Sir, no sir! Here comes Dunkin' Donuts. Donut. If you're lucky enough to have a spouse-to-be who shares your passion for Dunkin' Donuts, you might as well make the most of it. Perhaps a Dunkin'-themed wedding might be the right choice for you. A donut-themed wedding celebration would be one thing, but at least one couple decided to take it to the next level and actually tie the knot at their favorite Dunkin' Donuts location. Dunkin' offered the newlyweds gifts, such as coffee mugs, and of course, they left the ceremony with a generous supply of their favorite tasty treats. Dunkin' marked Prince Harry's and Meghan's recent royal wedding in the United Kingdom with the unveiling of the limited edition Royal Love Donut. The heart-shaped treat celebrated the young couple's enduring love and was a big seller while it lasted. Even Martha Stewart's wedding page has gotten into the act. It offers 23 elegant ways to serve donuts to guests on your special day. The ideas include having them as part of the coffee service, a donut tower, and donut hole displays that can replace the traditional wedding cake. If cupcakes are good for a wedding, then putting on a wedding that runs on Dunkin' has to be even better. There's a hole in this kick. A French twist. <laughs> en français. <laughs> If you were looking for a tasty twist on donuts, you might have found it with the Cronut. A French pastry chef named Dominique Ansel created this new treat based on a pair of classic treats in 2013, and it became an instant sensation. Dunkin' Donuts introduced its own version of the croissant donut hybrid shortly after Ansel's became a hit, and it has been a popular choice with Dunkin' customers ever since. The treat was supposed to be a limited time offer, but because of its success, it was made part of the permanent menu in 2015. Dunkin' Donuts basically version of the cronut is called a croissant donut and is topped with the chain's familiar sugary glaze. Some customers have complained that Dunkin's take on the hybrid pastry tastes too much like Dunkin's traditional glazed donut, but others have commented that it has a unique texture and that makes it a winner. You are a winner, baby. Dunkin' has released a couple of special croissant donut flavors, such as the chocolate-covered strawberry-filled variety, but the glazed option remains the only permanent part of the menu. In case you're interested, Dunkin' Donuts also sells traditional croissants. Oh, mon dieu. Oh, de foof. Planet Duncan. The world runs on Duncan. Dunkin' Donuts is popular around the world, and the donut chain now has thousands of stores in more than 30 countries and counting. Dunkin' likes to tailor some of its donuts to local tastes, so if you're traveling abroad, you'll have the opportunity to sample some exotic Dunkin' flavors. For example, its sweet treats are particularly well received in South Korea, which boasts 900 locations. These locations in South Korea offer a spicy donut made with jalapeno sausage that sounds more like a lunch than a breakfast treat. Locations in the United Arab Emirates offer a frosted yeast donut called a date donut that features a date in the middle and a bit of date syrup drizzled on top of the frosting. If you think a heartier donut option might be your thing, then you might want to try the pork floss donut offered in China. This treat is topped with generous helpings of dried pork and flakes of dried seaweed. Dunkin' Donut locations in Thailand offer a colorful creation called an emerald custard donut. This one starts off as a basic yeast donut but is filled with a green custard made from the popular Thai herb called pan. On. This sweet tasting herb is widely used in Southeast Asian cooking. So if you're getting tired of the usual varieties you find in the United States, maybe you should give some of the international flavors a try. Come on, you'll love it. 
Uh, just a taste. <laughs> Running on Duncan. I love Duncan, guys. What are you talking about? Weymouth, Massachusetts is the second oldest town established by the colonists in the Commonwealth. The town of Weymouth is a quiet shore community with a population of 55,463, but it has a delicious claim to fame. Although Dunkin' Donuts maintains that it doesn't offer public records about store rankings, the word is out that the store located at 755 Main Street in South Weymouth is a special place. The scenic New England town is believed to be the busiest Dunkin' Donuts location in the United States and possibly the world. This particular store has been known to sell more than 3,000 cups of coffee in a single day and a lot of fresh donuts to go along with it. Neither Dunkin' nor its customers have been able to come up with a reason why this particular location is so popular. The store has generated a considerable amount of buzz on social media and the chatter describes the Weymouth store as a little crazy, but can usually be counted on for fast, friendly service. Customers report that this location makes its donuts fresh daily instead of having them trucked in and warmed up in the oven. So if you're ever in the area, swing by the Dunkin' Donuts at 755 Main Street in Weymouth, Massachusetts. I'm like the mayor of Dunkin's. This is the face of Dunkin' Donuts right here. Dunkin' Black. You see, I've got an exclusive membership card. The Dunkin' Donuts Black Card is not part of a top-secret government program, but it is an interesting piece of marketing. There's been some confusion about the card, and this probably stemmed from the fact that the special card is not part of a formal program. Dunkin' offers the cards to celebrities and some regular people who are members of the royalty program or are simply great customers who frequent the chain. There are no official rules for entry into the Black Card Club, but many people have tried to let Dunkin' know they would really like to be made a member. To keep the program exclusive, most customers Customers cannot be part of the Black Card Club and are left wondering if they will be able to earn it someday. For most people, it probably comes down to how much money you're willing to spend at Dunkin'. For those fortunate enough to be among the chosen few to be offered a Black Card, there is a small catch. The untold truth about the Black Card is that this coveted piece of plastic is really just a rechargeable gift card. Like any normal gift card, you can use for your next purchase at Dunkin' Donuts. There's no special access to secret donut flavors or anything like that, but for many people, the bragging rights can be pretty sweet. I don't mean to brag. Sweeten up our lives. Click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. And don't go anywhere. Check out some of our other great videos.